It's an unimaginable crime against the most innocent of victims. Tonight, Montres Boyd made his first court appearance for the gruesome murder of his five-year-old son. And Boyd's wife told police that her husband sacrificed their son because he thought the world was ending. Fox 5's George Franco joins us live from the DeKalb County Jail. Uh, George, police originally said Boyd used a shovel to commit the murder, but tonight we're hearing something else. Absolutely, Russ and Sine, and detectives with the DeKalb County Police Department had told us when we learned of this that the murder weapon had been a knife which Montres Boyd, they said, had bludgeoned his son Montres Jr. with. Well, today at his first court appearance, we learned the murder weapon was a knife. Mr. Boyd, you are accused from February 21st, 2018 with the offense of murder. Montres Boyd, newly clad in a jailhouse orange jumpsuit, sat emotionless without saying a word at his first court appearance for the gruesome murder of his five-year-old son, Montres Jr., in this home near Lithonia Wednesday night. You are <clears throat> accused of with malice of forethought causing the death of Montres Boyd Jr., a human being, by using a kitchen knife to sever the head of the victim. Judge September Guy spoke of Boyd using a kitchen knife to murder his son. New details after DeKalb police clarified an earlier report of Boyd using a shovel to bludgeon the little boy. Investigators say the 25-year-old used the shovel to bury Montres Jr. in the backyard where the boy's mother discovered him. He was able to remove the child from the ground with her bare hands and that's when she put the child in the vehicle attempting to take him to the hospital believing that she could save her child. We're told the wife and her mother who lives in the home had gone to run errands after she and Boyd arrived from California Wednesday. Fox 5 News has learned Boyd's wife called 911 in Arizona last June when she said he drove off with Montres Jr. in the car. Arizona police say Boyd was naked when he hit a patrol car with his fist, jumped into a vehicle, then rammed another patrol car. He was eventually arrested a few miles down the road with Montres Jr. in the seat. Listen, I cannot talk to this week. Oh. Boyd's wife was frantic during the 911 call in Arizona. Police say here in Georgia, she told investigators Boyd sacrificed his son because he thought the world was going to end. And investigators say that there were a number of children in the home when the murder occurred, but physically they were unharmed. Mr. Boyd returns to court March 2nd, 9 o'clock at Superior Court for his probable cause hearing. In DeKalb County tonight, I'm George Franco, Fox 5 News. Yeah, just too terrible to imagine. George, thanks. And here's some additional information about Boyd's run-in with police in Arizona. According to the official police report, the chase started as a possible domestic violence situation. Boyd's wife told police that she was involved in a dispute with her husband, and he dropped her off on the interstate and took off in the car with their four-year-old son. Officers then received calls about a naked man, later identified as Boyd, lying down in an interstate median in Flagstaff and when police got there they say Boyd ran toward the patrol car and started punching it with his fists. He then returned to his BMW and rammed the patrol vehicles before taking off in the wrong lane into oncoming traffic. She said he's having a mental breakdown. Okay, stop, stop. Is he the father stop. of that child? Stop. Is he he's the father of the child? Yes. Uh, Boyd hit a rock embankment and crashed his BMW. Neither he nor his son was hurt, um, but one of the responding officers did suffer injuries. The four-year-old was picked up at the hospital by his mother while Boyd was booked into jail for aggravated assault, felony endangerment, and child abuse. Now, according to court records, he was evaluated at least five times for mental, by mental health experts before he was finally released on bail on September 22nd, and his case is still pending in Arizona.